Hi Libra, happy birthday to you guys. Hope all is well, that you guys are enjoying yourselves. I pray that all your wishes come true. We have Leo, we have the strength card. Okay, the deck that I'm using, guys, the deck I'm using, imps are wands, pumpkins are pinnacles, ghosts are water, and I mean, well, cups, okay? And then um, the last one is bats, they're swords. Two more cards, please, for Libra's birthday read, Libra's birthday read. For September and October. Um, between September and October, we have three of swords, three of bats here. You guys already had the hair fan fall out and reverse. So I don't know if some of you guys are going through a divorce or at the process of going through a divorce right now. Okay. Um, we have the three of imps in reverse. Okay. So we have threes out. Someone could have been involved already. Like in, um, we have the sun. Okay. Great overall energy, Libra, for the rest of the month for, you know, going into October. This is really October's read, but I am I am reading earlier, okay, before your energy come in, Libra. You know what I mean, right? So your energy starts, Libra, September 23rd, 2023, okay, Libra season. So that's what I'm doing. I am reading earlier than that right now, guys. So what I mean by that, you guys got the sun energy coming in from starting pretty much September 23rd till it goes into Scorpio, okay, guys? So it looks like you guys are going to be very happy, um, very satisfied with your, you know, all the stuff that you're doing, birthday planning. A lot of plans are going to be easy. They're going to go well. You're going to be very happy, very surprised. Like, do you guys could get gifts that you want or something like that. A lot of things are just going to be working out to your um, advantage. So you guys are very strong, Libra. You guys got a lot of fire, a lot of kick to you. You guys could also be changing your appearance at the time. Okay, very strong, courageous right now at the moment. A lot of you guys could be taking risks or um, just doing something you never did before for your birthday. This is a birthday re Libra, especially for you guys. So that's what I'm saying. Um, you guys could have a lot of Leo placements in your birth chart, whoever I'm connecting with for this read, okay? Because your overall energy is the sun, and then you also have the strength, okay? In the center, someone could be heartbroken. Take it as a plot. This may or may not resonate. It could either be you or someone you're dealing with could be heartbroken at the moment. Um, it could be a Libra. doesn't have to be. So we have strong Leo energy here in Libra already in your read, Libra, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? Um, we also have three of imps in reverse. I just feel like someone's plans could have kind of blew up in their face. You weren't expecting that, but someone's plans kind of blew up in their face, especially with threes here. So I do have to say it, it could have been involved. Someone could have been involved in a third party. Um, either you know or you didn't know, but someone put someone in a third party. So take it as a apply, guys. But I feel like you do it for this person, though. So if they do have a third person involved, they're letting that person go. I do see that with the three of wands in reverse. They're not waiting no more on this person or whatever's going on. Whoever's in the third party or the third distraction, okay? Um, I am saying third party because this card does symbolize a third party. So that's why I'm saying take it as it resonates. This It's not everybody's story. But um, the third interference doesn't just have to be a third party, guys. It could be someone else in the way. It could be family. It could be children. It could be just something going on that is causing a distraction at the moment. So that's why I'm saying I'm reading it right now as a third party. But for others of you guys, it may not be a third party. It could be like, you know, someone's work. They could be working a lot and, you know, not giving the attention that you deserve and stuff like that. I really do feel that you calm this person down. That's all I keep getting right now from this card and in this card. This person could see you as the sun. They could see you as Leo's energy, but you are Libra. But they could see you as in Leo's energy. Very, you know, spotlight, um, very victorious, able to conquer things at the moment. Just, just really strong. You're in your energy, like strength energy, guys. And you're also able to do something to this person. 
All right, so you're, you're calming this person down. It is a money read. So some of you guys could be heartbroken about finances. I don't know why I was reading as relationship. But someone's like, get back to, um, get back to focus or something. And it, it just kind of dawned on me this money. So I did go towards relationship, of course, but, um, someone could be hurt about their money this month. Or just heartbroken about it. Maybe someone paid out too much. Or, you know, you're trying to make better choices with your money. But something still keeps going on financially, okay? So, it's a slight hits up in October. Someone could be disappointed about their money. I don't see that lasting for long. There's too many threes around here. I'm also, okay, in the main deck, you guys got the three of Pentacles. So, there's 333 three, three, Libra in your reading. Your birthday read, okay? So three could be very lucky for you guys. In the month of um, October, September and October, or just around in your birthday energy, okay? Three could be very lucky for you guys. Yeah, look at that. And there's three um, sunflowers. But I also wanted to call them daisies. So I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe you guys like daisies or something like that. These are sunflowers. There is four, but I didn't. I only noticed three at the at the beginning. Okay, guys, <laughs> these cards are funny. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys could also have a great month at work. Okay, so like between September and October, this is a bir birthday read for the whole birthday month of you guys. Okay, so you guys could have really good energy at work. Things working out very well. You're happy. You're making um, a lot of extra money. Maybe you're doing overtime and it's not that hard because you already know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You know how you're doing extra work and it's just difficult or something. I don't get that. Get really easy money for you, Libra, this month between September and October. You also, um, work looks, looks really good. If you are working with a group of people or working on a project or working in the office with, with, other, <clears throat> with other people, you're going to be very happy, very um, satisfied at work. For others of you guys, I do see an ending at work, okay, with the death card behind the three of pentacles. So I'm looking at your main energy, okay, Libra? This is the death card. That is right behind the three of pentacles. Some of you guys may decide to get out of the office, get out of, out of the work environment. Wherever you're working at. It's just, for that's what I'm saying. For some of you guys, work is good. For others of you guys, it's not. You're leaving. Or you're about to leave or it's in your thoughts. Right now, you could be thinking about quitting a job. Okay, you're going to be thinking about that, especially in October is what they're pointing to the most. They're pointing October out to me very strongly. I mean, you guys may quit a job in October, especially with this layout. Because it's not making you happy. Uh, that's really the basic uh, energy that is surrounding the three of pentacles and the death card okay you're you're quitting because you're not happy period and this is a money read so you're not happy with the finances instead it could have caused you some problems by staying in this job okay because maybe this job is paying too low or it's just not you know i'm here i'm hearing it's not hitting the mark so it it, it pays some stuff but then you're struggling i'm feeling elsewhere okay so something you're not waiting on, okay? You could also not be waiting on someone to tell you about a third party. I feel that you already know for some of you guys. Others of you guys, you're heartbroken. Could be over finances because it is a money read. But they're showing too that you do have the strength to get through it. So once you get through it, whether you're switching jobs or something like that, there is like light at the end of the tunnel is what they're saying. You are going to be happy. It's going to, this other job could even make you stronger or something. It's something you're going through right now financially, Libra. That's going to make you stronger at, at the end of the day, okay, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you're strong. You got the Empress. My goodness. Look at all this major arcana around the Three of Pentacles. You can't tell me there's going to be a major change around your workplace or your work environment. Like I said, some of you guys are going to leave a job because it's not making you happy. You definitely are going to find something that's going to make you happy, though. Okay? You're all about your own happiness right now, Libra. All right. Money cards for Libra. Okay. One card, please. 
So I usually ask for one, but they're going to probably give me more than that. So they're going to just give me what you guys need to hear at the moment. One card, please. For Libra, September and October. What is the money message for Libra, September and October? It flipped. Okay, so it says weekend sales, men and women, up to 70% off. That don't tell me much. It lets me know that you might be out shopping. You're going to catch a sell or something. What is this? Receipts in reverse. Okay, so loan tonight in reverse. All right, guys. So pretty much I'm picking up that you guys might need to curve your spending in October, September and October. Okay, you guys might be hitting up a sell or something like that or um, feeling tempted to spend money around your birthday. It's just a little caution there to just be careful. You, you are going to find something that's like a kill deal that you want to like spend money on. Hmm. And receipts in reverse. I don't know, guys. So I'm reading these intuitively, okay? Ooh. Know what I'm getting? If you guys throw away your receipts, they're saying to keep them. I'm talking about like if everything right now, okay? So if you're paying bills and stuff, please keep those. Put, you know, organize them, do a budget or something, right? Like what they're doing. Um, receipts, budgeting. Or oh, what are they doing right here? Okay, well, anyway, I'm getting the message. Keep your receipts, all of them, right now. Okay, so um, especially like when you pay bills and stuff, just keep everything. If you're not doing it, you guys need to try to do it because maybe someone's going to come back on you. Okay, is what I'm picking up. All right, and this these could just be other receipts. It's something about organizing receipts or something, but I'm also picking up bills. Okay, so you guys need to organize um, receipts towards your bills. Like everything you pay, keep up with it. Because I am getting the energy that someone could be coming back on you saying, you don't have a receipt for this and you know you pay for it, but it, you know, you're going to have to probably pay again if you don't have the backup, guys. So save everything right now, all your receipts and stuff like that. Okay, there's also something I'm picking up as well that you might buy. You don't like it now or something like that or it doesn't fit. You want to return it, but you threw away the receipt. Who knows, guys? But I'm also getting on the bills situation. Someone's going to have problems with their bills. Someone's coming back on them. And they're going to say, well, you know what? You didn't pay this or you didn't pay this amount. And you paid it. You did pay it. But you need your receipt to prove that you paid it. Okay, guys? All right. Astrology dice for the money read for um, Libra's birthday, September and October. Okay, let's see. We have, oh my gosh, yes, number three, guys. So now you got it four times. Okay, Libra, that's mind, body, and soul. You guys could be balancing, balancing yourselves out very well, okay, With regards to your birthday month. We have Pisces. This is 12th house energy. Um, and the ruler over Pisces in the 12th house is Neptune. Yep. Yeah, I'm just checking everything. Yep. So something is definitely ending here. It could be, like I said, a third party for relationships. Even though this is a money read, it, it, it did come up like that, okay? Some of you guys could just be heartbroken, though, over your finances. Something could have happened unfair to you financially, recently, and it's just heartbreaking to you right now, okay? But I do see you getting over it. You have strength around you, which is this Leo's card here, and you also have the sun card, guys. Also, some light might be shed on something fraudulent pertaining to money, okay? Then we have um, Saturn, which is ruler over Capricorn. And that talks about career, fame, reputation, profession, public. Yeah, something about work. You guys got on your mind, if you don't actually change your job in October, like literally, you know, quit. Because it's showing me that someone's quitting, okay, in the main energy. You guys got too many major arcanas around the, the three of pentacles. 
Okay, so there's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. You could be um, a Leo with strong earth placements. I'm sorry, a Libra with strong earth placements. You guys got Leo. Someone's got a lot of Leo or fire in your birth chart. Okay, you're a Libra with fire in your birth chart because you guys are ready to go. Okay, you're ready to move. You're ready to switch a job or either you're thinking about it. You're ready to leave a relationship because you know that it's not no good for you. Okay, some kind of interference is going on there. Definitely some kind of third party interference. I also feel that you guys are going to be watching your money or watching your spending. Okay. And there's a little bit of a, a word here for watching your receipts or, or keeping up with your receipts. Okay, Libra, that's all I have for you guys. Which, what is the last one? I'm sorry, guys. We have the sun. Or was that Pisces? So the sun is back again. So sometimes I put these down, they do move. And if I catch them, I do tell you guys what, it, what else is showing up. So this is the sun. You guys got the double sun. I definitely say if you guys are in a job right now that's not making you happy, it looks like you guys are going to have to leave. You guys already know that. And um, whoever this is resonating with, you guys got a yes as well. Double yes to leave, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are, are going to have the strength to leave. So a lot of you guys are going to be leaving a job somewhere in October is what I keep picking up, okay? And yeah, you're going to end it. You don't like the job. You don't like the people. It's just like not fitting with you. I'm hearing not resonating. Okay, Virgo. I mean, Libra. So whoever this resonates with, um, I hope that you guys get some kind of message out of this. Okay, Libra. Until next time, take care. Happy birthday.